Paris Brain Institute is located in the heart of one of the oldest hospitals in Paris, the Pitié-Salpêtrière Hospital. Built in 1656, this hospital is known to be the place where the first world chair of neurology was created in 1882 under the impulse of Dr. Jean-Martin Charcot. At the dawn of the 20th century, three eminent neurologists and surgeons had the idea to create a research institute within the hospital, bringing together patients, doctors, researchers and entrepreneurs in one place to invent the medicine of tomorrow. In 2010, the Paris Brain Institute opened its doors. It gathers today more than 700 people of 43 different nationalities, 25 research teams, 10 cutting-edge technological platforms, one clinical investigation center, a startup incubator, and a training center. Welcome to the Paris Brain Institute. We are united by a common goal, to understand the brain and the diseases that affect it. It concerns nearly 1 billion people worldwide. The Paris Brain Institute's research is organized into five areas which communicate with each other with great flexibility. Molecular and cellular neurobiology, integrative neurophysiology, cognition, computational modeling in neuroscience, and clinical and translational neuroscience. Researchers and clinicians at the Paris Brain Institute benefit from the latest techniques and equipment in neuroscience, from molecular exploration to brain imaging. Now, let's meet some of those who embody the Institute's research today. Mercedes aims to find a new animal model to study numerical cognition in invertebrates. By using the fruit fly as a new model system, she will be able to manipulate neurocircuits to deeply study the mechanisms at the brain level of this cognitive trait. Javier is studying neuronal cortical circuits in mouse models of Down syndrome. He uses in vivo and in vitro electrophysiology to study from the efficiency of individual synaptic connections in specific circuits to the synchronization of large numbers of neurons and how these processes appear altered in the syndrome. Ma is carrying out genetic analysis of generalized epilepsies in a Sudanese cohort. She aims to identify novel genes involved in these epilepsies. In parallel, she is developing a new, affordable model for developing countries in the worm C. elegans to functionally validate epilepsies-related genes. Xinyu aims to dissect the locomotor circuits in the hindbrain of larva zebrafish using holographic optogenetics. Simultaneously, she records the activities of command neurons in the brainstem through two-photon calcium imaging and monitors the animal's swimming behavior in an effort to causally investigate the reticulospinal neuron's contribution to locomotion. Deborah is seeking to understand how executive functions impact the gait initiation in Parkinson's disease. To do so, she is combining EEG and a force platform, allowing her to correlate the neuroactivity to biomechanical data. By combining IPSC technology with single-cell transcriptomics and imaging approaches, Marina and Benjamin can study the neurodevelopmental consequences of specific gene mutation by producing brain organoids directly from patient cells. Marie Constance focuses on brain-computer interface, or BCI. She is studying the neuromechanisms underlying the learning process. An ongoing project in collaboration with the stroke unit of the hospital aims at identifying biomarkers of stroke recovery and potential alternative features to build innovative BCIs. Paris Brain Institute's aim is to create a barrier-free environment where scientists interested in all aspects of the brain work together from the patient's bed to the lab. It also means encouraging research that challenges dogma, takes risks, is allowed to fail and try again, because great discoveries, those that make great differences, are by definition unexpected and unpredictable.